flash head when they did not uh, need them to be increased when the flashing is less than required. And last parameter is sub uh, uh, sub mental pragmatic or from the pragmatic uh, thing. Intermeter needs two diameters, sub mental pragmatic, uh, sub uh, pragmatic, and as well as sub occipital. Uh, sub occipital pragmatic. These are the two uh, diameters which can uh, uh, that uh, are suitable for the normal genetic delivery that uh, for the gynecoid values. So for the mechanism of labor, there is a mnemonic which is called EDFIRE. EDFIRE is engagement, descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, restitution, and external rotation. So 60% of the babies, 60% of, of the Babies enter in the left occipital transverse diameter through pelvic inlet for the engagement. Uh, mostly uh, babies again, uh, mostly uh, most of labor, baby 40% uh, of the labors, 40% of the labors uh, in primary gravida had to be engaged at the time of labor. And in 60% before the onset of the So in occipital, uh, in occipital left occipital transverse diameter is the presenting diameter at the pelvic inlet for the engagement. Engagement is when the maximum diameter of bifractal diameter has the pelvic inlet less than two palpable abdominal. It's called engagement. Along with engagement, with each maternal uterine contraction, there is descent. Along with descent, there is flexion side by side. After the flexion, when the baby's head touches the sloping butter of levator and eye muscle, there is internal rotation. With the internal rotation, the leading part or the presenting part is an occipital along with along, uh, along with occipital. Occiput is leading, but the vertex is the leading part. This is the occiput. After the internal rotation, there is extension. After, as the extension, the baby is head to labor. At the internal rotation, uh, there is a crowning. Uh, when the widest part of the fetal head has passed through the pelvic outlet. After that, there is an extension and baby is head to labor. As the fetal shoulders have entered internal pelvis, there is a twist in the transverse diameter at the pelvic inlet, and now they are rotating in every diameter. So there is a twist between the fetal head and the shoulder. The fetal head will move one eighth of the circle to, uh, to release this twist. Then this is called restitution. After the further uterine contraction, there is another movement of the one eighth of the circle of the fetal head to make the Shoulders in AP diameter. The interior posterior diameter. After the delivery of the fetal head, interior shoulder will be delivered, and then posterior shoulder will be delivered, and the baby will be put on the maternal abdomen for drying as well as for the starting uh, of breastfeeding. We will camp and cut the cord after the cessation of the uh, pulses of the umbilical uh, uh, pulses and the uh, uh, after clamping and cutting the cord, as we have already done the empty management of the chain of labor and the interior shoulder of the baby, and we have given the five national labor groups and all. So we will deliver the placenta by the zone for traction. After the delivery of the placenta, we will see for any lacerations, any tear, design of the and the dots, and then we will see the epidotomy, special epidotomy. At the end, Okay, so 